Yeah, welcome to another tutorial in monitoring of forest resources. I'm here looking on very old technical sketches from Professor Kramer from 1984, so beginning of the 1980s. He invented his pocket dendrometer and I thought maybe it's interesting to further develop this instrument according to his plans and to make it easier. I thought, why not printing it in 3D? Everything we need to know to construct such a dendrometer is clear. We can calculate the dimensions. There are fixed relations between the width and the distance. And I've translated this into a 3D model here um, that we can now export into a print file and print it on a 3D printer. I also will make this file available later so that you can try it at home or wherever you are. Now let's field test our printed dendrometer. So I have three different dendrometers here with me. One is the original dendrometer you already know from other videos. Then I have printed my own dendrometer in yellow at the university. And I also ordered one online in a 3D print shop. And this one comes in baby blue. So if it's about the color, you should try to get a bright color, not a dark color because you need some contrast in the forest to see it. Very similar to the dendrometer proposed by Professor Kramer, we have three different counting factors here. Counting factor 1, counting factor 2 and counting factor 4. In addition to Kramer's dendrometer, we also have counting factor 6 and for very extreme cases also counting factor 8, which might be useful for tropical conditions. In the forest where I'm standing right now, we have relatively dense undergrowth, but still we have a good visibility. But we have a mixture of many small trees and a few very big habitat trees that are remaining in this stand. And for this purpose I will use counting factor 2, because it's a good compromise. I would like to include a certain number of these big trees, but I don't like to count too many trees that I would need to count with counting factor 1. I have not selected this point randomly or based on any sampling design, I'm just field testing. One important thing, the distance between the dendrometer and your hand is exactly 50 centimeters. So I have a small knot here that helps me to adjust this distance, it's exactly 50 centimeters. And I'm now looking out for a tree where I want to start in this direction, I find a big oak tree and now I aim over my counting plate number two. Aim at DBH height of these trees and just check whether they appear wider or smaller than this counting place. So I would start with this very big oak tree uh, in the background. Counting plate number two is the upper one. So I'm checking now in DBH height whether it appears bigger or smaller, wider. And it is definitely, so this tree is in. And now I go on in a clockwise di direction checking all the other trees too small, too small, too small. So we have all these many small trees here that are not part of our sample. Also this spruce tree is out, out, out. There I have another big tree in the background that is in, so number two. Out, 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 everything is out all these small trees and here we have a very big beech tree this is definitely in and for trees standing so close to your position and if they have a certain dimension you carefully need to check whether there's something behind it so i make a step to the side and check 
And as you can see, there is another tree that is also in. So then we have four trees. Five. Six. This tree in the background, hardly to see, but it's also in. Seven. And there's nothing behind that. Also, these small trees can be in if they are close enough. Another one, eight. We have a larger tree here that is a border tree, but it's still in. Nine. There is one. Sometimes you can check a little bit higher. If it's in up there, then it will also be in down here. So ten. Eleven. This one is also out. And here we are back where we started. So I have counted 11 trees now with counting factor number 2. Now I need to multiply the number of counted trees by the factor of 2, by the counting factor. So my estimate of the basal area in square meters per hectare for this point is 22 square meters per hectare. Which is mainly dominated by the relatively low density of these very big beech trees that we find here. All the small trees around us only make a tiny contribution to the total basal area and also to the total biomass, carbon stocks and volume. So my conclusion today, uh, field testing the 3D printed dendrometer is it works fine. And uh, also the yellow color is quite uh, suitable. It gives me a nice contrast. The light blue one is also nice, so there is no difference in that. But don't print it in black or any other dark color. You can get it for a reasonable price, depending on the provider of 3D printing at your home university or any online providers who can help you to print this dendrometer. Just be sure that you have the 50 centimeter distance and then it works fine. So please enjoy your dendrometer have fun and if you use it if you print it please send us a photo or any comment to our video thank you very much <laughs>